welcome back to Clutch Situation. I was lucky enough to travel to Las Vegas to visit my best friend uh, a couple days ago. And while I was there, he surprised me with a trip to Fisher Space Pen. And so what you're going to see here in a few moments is a couple of clips that I shot while we were at Fisher Space Pen. You're going to hear some people speaking in the background. Not really anything that I could do about that. The office was pretty packed while I was in there. And I wasn't always able to frame a shot very well because it was pretty much elbow to elbow in there. But uh, I thought I'd share the video footage that I shot while I was at Fisher Space Pen. And then we'll come back and take a look at all the cool products that I got while I was there. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more video here coming up in a second. Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. I'm here at Fisher Space Pen headquarters in Boulder City, Nevada. More updates to follow. So here I am inside and I'll take you on a short little tour of the stock that they have at their warehouse store. You made out of pewter. Yes. And they're made in New York from our from our sellers. I wrote a book for you. Okay. No, you're fine. I just thought help you. You're so welcome. Sorry, guys. And can we get one in the um How are you? Are you having a great day? So do you want to put fine point in this one then? Can we? Yeah. Oh great. Yeah, like I said, we can exchange the other. It's a good company. You know, if you didn't know it was here, you'd go by here almost every day. I didn't know it was here. I, I didn't I'm know amazed. it was here until I, you know, I, I looked at the pens, you know, and everything for a long time, but I've never been out here before. And, um, yep, it's easy to find now that we know where you're at. Yeah, right up the road, right off Boulder Highway. And welcome back. So what you see in front of you are some of the products that I got while I was at Fisher Space Pen's corporate office uh, outside of Las Vegas, specifically in Boulder City, Nevada. And I'm excited to share this with you because those of you who have been viewers of the channel for quite some time may recall that I'm not that into ballpoint pens, but if I have to pick a ballpoint pen, the specific cartridge that I've always been interested in has been the Fisher Space Pen cartridge because, you know, it has a lot of features that a lot of ballpoint pen cartridges don't have. And so I just want to point out some of the products that I got while I was there. I told them what a huge fan I was, and they gave me this patch, Fisher Space Pen patch, which, you know, I'll think about what I might want to attach this to, and so that's... Uh, Oppor uh, opportunity number one that I had. And then this is the case that my 50th anniversary Apollo 11 pen came in. And one of the cool things that I noticed right off the back, and you right off the bat, and you may have heard this in the video clips uh, just previously, is that when you buy a pen uh, at their uh, corporate office, they will replace the cartridge with whatever you want. And of course, like many ballpoint uh, pen cartridge manufacturers. They, they offer them in a wide variety of colors such as black, blue, ba blue black, blue, uh, green, red, and uh, since green is my favorite color, I went ahead and replaced my cartridge for both of my pens with fine point green uh, cartridges. And so this is the package my Apollo 11 anniversary pen originally came in. And then if we open up this little folio that uh, came with it, uh, this is the actual pen that I purchased. And it's shiny lettering, lettering, so let's see how well this shows up on camera. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's showing up pretty well on camera. Let me see if I can get it to focus. 
Uh, is it going to do it there? Well, the shiny lettering isn't helping with the lighting setup, but it says 50th anniversary Apollo 11, 1969 to 2009. And so hopefully I can get this to show up on camera a little bit better. It's not easy when you have uh, gold foil lettering. And so, you know, this is one of the standard uh, space pens that you can get at... Um, you know, a lot of attractions. They sell these in uh, all around the Smithsonian Institution in D.C. And so uh, let's, you know, sort of get to the, the story of the Fisher Space Pen cartridge. Um, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you because, you know, I want to keep the video down to a manageable level, but you can feel free to pause the video and read whatever you like. The key takeaway here is that the Fisher Space Pen cartridge was designed for the space program to be able to write under extreme conditions. And, you know, one of the worries in early space programs was that the dust from graphite, from graphite pencils, could get into the uh, instrumentation. Uh, Russian space missions largely use pencils, but the American space missions use these Fisher space pen cartridges. And when I turn to the back here, this is a really amazing, heartwarming story that basically describes how a Fisher space pen saved the Apollo 11 mission. And once again, I'm not going to read this to you, but if you want to go ahead and pause the video and read what the situation was with Apollo 11 and how the Fisher space pen was involved with that, great. Okay, so there we go. That's what came with my 50th anniversary Apollo 11 Fisher space pen cartridge. And I'm looking for some paper here so we can do a writing test. And here we go, found some. So, Fisher Space Pen. This is the green fine cartridge. Okay, so any ballpoint pen that I have, I, rep I immediately replace all my Retro 51 rollerball pens with Fisher Space Pen cartridges. Um, it's, you know, it's my favorite ballpoint ink, lasts for a very, very long time. Now, this is not the only pen that I got while I was at Fisher Space Pen. I also got, this is the crown jewel. This is the X-750 uh, Black Edition in Explorer. And so let's open this up and, and check it out. Comes in the gift box, as many high-end pens do. And on the box, it says Fisher Space Pen with the logo. And we open it up, and what do we see? Ooh... Lovely pen, writing instrument in matte black finish with uh, silver, and the silver on the side says uh, X750 pen by Fisher, USA, around the edge. Got a strong pocket clip, very strong pocket clip, not going anywhere. And looking closely at the pocket clip, I don't think it's going to show up very well on video, and I actually need to put it up to the light to be able to see it here. Um, it has the Fisher Space Pen logo here, and then it says space along the pocket clip right here. And I don't think that's going to show up very well on video, but, you know, I wanted to get that in there. Now, how does this one work? Well, it's a very compact pen, compact pen as you can see, and you just open it up. And what a, uh, initially attracted me this is that this is designed to be both an elegant and a functional pen. So we'll see if we can get this to show up on camera, but it has a ribbed rubber grip on the end of it and then of course cartridge is replaceable it posts very nicely okay it's just a friction post it has a matte finish and there's a little bit of texture to it it's not smooth okay so once again we have fisher space wow fisher space pen this is the X750 Explorer model. And once again, I replaced it with a green fine point cartridge. So if uh, you're a pen enthusiast in the audience, I know that I don't do a lot of pen videos here. I thought that I'd go ahead and share my experience with everybody that I had. Great experience at uh, Fisher Space Pens headquarters in Boulder City, Colorado. They're super friendly there. Uh, if, if you happen to be in the Las Vegas area, you know, depending upon how big of a writing utensil or EDC enthusiast there, you know, I could... I could see that it would be worth a trip for you. It certainly was worth a trip for me, and I'm happy to share that with you. And so I hope you enjoyed this little tour, and I'm going to have some more stuff coming at you on Clutch Situation. Bye-bye.